Uh, what is gaming addiction? Yeah. Right, you don't eat, you don't sleep, you, you game eat, every don't, day. Don't sleep, stay in front of your computer non-stop. Just How many hours a day should you spend in front of the computer? And what's the proper netiquette when you meet someone online? Some 500 students from Innova Junior College attended a talk on cyber wellness given by representatives from game publisher AsiaSoft and the Cyber Sports and Online Gaming Association. I'm here with Jacqueline. She's the assistant product manager for AsiaSoft. Okay, tell me a bit about your cyber bullying experiences. Okay, for me, mm. okay, I, I won't say that I have any of my own, but I have seen it happening online. Mm. And this is one case that's very, very common. Okay, uh, in Maple, what happens is that somebody will enter and they are fighting their monsters as usual. Yep. Somebody else will come in and it's normally very high level. Okay. Okay. And what this new guy that come in do, this high level character, is that it will just blast every single monster out of the map. Okay. And it will tell the new player like the newbie, right, uh, to change channels. Oh, okay? because he's here. Yes, correct. And the new player sometimes will go things like, uh, you don't own Maple Story, well, why should I change yeah. channel? No kind of thing. And what happens after that is, this higher level character normally have to really form a guild. Yeah. So what they do is that they get the rest of the guild members to come in and make life really difficult for a new player. Uh, okay, then how's the language like on Maple? Is it like, does it run into a lot of foul language? Do you guys have filters for it? Oh, we definitely have filters for it. Um, total filters, you can't say foul language at all. It just yeah. comes out as lots of access or other gibberish mm. kind of thing. We just want the whole environment, everybody to enjoy themselves yeah. in the game without having been harassed in any way. Mm. So uh, if the cyberbullying part gets really bad and we get a lot of complaints of one certain particular player, we actually can ban that person. Cool. The talk focused on cyber wellness as related to the gaming industry, particularly responsible gaming, cyberbullying, internet security and embarking on a career in gaming. We asked teacher Tan Li Wee from Innova why they've decided the talk was pertinent to the students. Because we feel that nowadays like almost everybody of or maybe all our students are going online mm. so they need to be aware of the dangers or potential dangers that they can face which is why we have this cyber wellness program and the other reason is also because it's like from secondary school there was this program for MOE and secondary school students they have to go through a cyber wellness program mm. so we thought that it's actually a good follow up from there mm. because the dangers are still there and we want them to be aware but maybe something of a higher level. Okay, what is cyber wellness to you? Uh, well, cyber wellness to me is being aware of uh, your behaviour, your conduct online, being aware of the harmful risks that are uh, out in the net and also not um, being one of the, the problems uh, posed to any, any cyber users out there. Cyber wellness to me is more like uh, being polite online, uh, mm. not, uh, don't make racist remarks, uh, don't be very vulgar online. Mm. I mean, like, because... They are also people too, they also have feelings, so mm. you must be like nice to them, like how you behave to your friends. Oh yeah. What's your worst online experience? Uh, I don't have a worst online experience, but uh, one instance is actually my sister. Mm. She she loves to block like and surf blocks and all that shit. Um, but yeah, um, she was once attacked like with insults by anonymous people, like mm. a lot um, on, on her chat box. But what, um, did, what did she block about that was so like... Uh, so deserving of insults and all that? She actually didn't. It, mm. When um, in the end, we found out it's actually her classmates, uh, mm. which actually her schoolmates. Um, they did not like like the way she is, right? Mm. So they just started spamming her. If in any one case, if you get like, uh, if your cyber wellness is compromised during one day when you're online, how what would you do? What's your first steps that you take? Uh, firstly, I would try to ignore it uh, like mm. try not to aggravate the situation but if it really gets very bad then most probably I'll, I'll, I'll report it to a higher authority maybe my teacher and everything mm. so they would know what to do uh. <laughs>